In this video, we're going to find the area of a circle. Some important vocabulary before we get to the area of a circle. First, we need to know what a diameter is. A diameter goes from edge to edge through the center. In other words, a diameter would cut the circle in half. That is a diameter. The radius starts on the edge and just goes from the edge to the center, halfway through the circle. That's going to be a radius. Another important thing we know about circles is this symbol, which is the Greek lowercase p. We read it as pi. And pi is a decimal approximation, approximately equal to 3.14, and it goes on forever with no pattern. 14159265, and it just goes on. We're just going to estimate it as 3.14. And the way we find the area of a circle is we're going to use a formula that is this pi, or 3.14, times the radius squared. And while we're on the topic of area of a circle, a similar formula has to do with the circumference or perimeter distance around the circle rather than filling it. The circumference formula is pi times the diameter of the circle. Let's try some examples where we find areas or circumferences of circles. In this first example, we know the distance from one side to the other is 12 centimeters, and we're asked to find the area. Recall the formula for area is pi times the radius squared. But 12 is not the radius. 12 is the diameter. The radius is just going to go from the center to the edge, or halfway through the circle. Well, if 12 is all the way through the circle, half of 12 is 6 centimeters for our radius. Plugging what we know into our formula, then, pi, we can replace with 3.14, and the radius we found to be 6 centimeters squared. Using order of operations to simplify, we'll do the exponent first. 3.14 times 6 squared is 36, and we'll also square the centimeters as well. Now we can find our area by multiplying 3.14, or pi, times the 36 centimeters in our circle, and we end up with 113.04 centimeters squared for the area of the circle. Let's try another example. In this example, we're asked to find the circumference, or distance, around the outside. We're told the distance from the center to the edge is 4 feet, which means center to edge, that's just the radius. However, the formula for circumference is pi times the diameter. We need to know the diameter, or the distance, all the way across this circle. Well, if it's 4 halfway across, the diameter, then, must be twice that, or 8 feet. Plugging this information to our formula, pi is 3.14 times the diameter, which is 8 feet. All that's left is to multiply 8 times the 3.14 to give us 25.112, I'm sorry, 1, 2 feet for our circumference, or distance around the outside of the circle. We've looked at two important formulas for circles. One is for the area of the circle. We use pi times the radius squared. And the second is for the circumference, or distance around the circle, is pi times the diameter. If we know what we're looking for, we can quickly calculate these by replacing either the radius or the diameter, depending on the formula, and then using order of operations to simplify the formula.